Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Well, in today's video, I have a super great example of why it's so very important to be careful whenever you're doing a timing belt or timing chain. When replacing a timing chain or timing belt, the valve timing will have to be set by lining up certain marks on the cam sprockets and the crank sprocket. And you have to do this in the manner prescribed by your repair manual. You cannot be incorrect when setting valve timing. And this is why right here. What you're looking at is an engine that had the valve timing set incorrectly. And you can see that throughout the valves are snapped off. We even got cylinders that have pistons with holes in them. So the whole engine had to be replaced on this thing because the timing was not set correctly. So I just wanted this video to be a, a, a warning to you, especially if you have a vehicle equipped with an engine that is an interference engine. Take your time, make sure you do a good job, dot your I's, cross your T's. Because if you don't, there's a good chance you may have to buy a new engine. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is an interference engine? Well, as you know, an engine has pistons in it, and the pistons go up and down like this. And you've also got valves on top of the pistons that allow intake air to come in or exhaust gas to go out. So those valves open like this while the piston's going up and down like that right there. Now, if the timing of that valve opening up is out of sync with the piston, the piston could come up, contact that valve, break it, bend it, or even poke a hole on top of the piston. That's what an interference engine is. Now, you, you still have to be careful if you don't have an interference engine, uh, because if you set the valve timing incorrectly, you're probably gonna get a check engine light. You're gonna have some drivability issues, just not gonna run right, and you gotta go back in there and redo the whole daggum thing. And that's hours taken out of your life, so <laughs> don't do that. So just let this video serve as a friendly warning to you. Uh, I don't want you to end up in a situation where you have to replace your engine because the valve timing was set incorrectly. Use your repair manual, follow it to a T, be very careful when you do this. So folks, I certainly hope that this video helped you. Uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to comment down below. Also, I'm going to throw some more information down in the description of this video. Just take a peek at that down below there. Read the entire thing. Also, please read the disclaimer at the very end of that. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one.